society participation must be secured. Transparency recommends that the working group should take steps for higher public awareness. To settle further issues, Transparency proposes to amend the commentaries on the conventions without needing to amend the convention itself. Two, close the loophole concerning primary of parties and party officials, which aims at influencing the action of a public official. And second, include facility payments. Transparency International recommends further on that the working group considers the coverage of foreign subsidiaries. In TI's view, the problem could be resolved by two steps, expressing the anti-bribery coalition, coalition approach. The national governments require the companies based in OECD countries to adopt meaningful anti-bribery compliance programs, as part of which parent uh, companies should apply their corporate anti-bribery policies to control the subsidiaries. Fourth, taking action against, anti uh, against bribery in international business now, recent major activities of TI. Success, as shown, is not granted yet, nearly 10 years after the OECD Convention. Public awareness, and NGO action are still important. Complementary actions have been taken by Transparency International. Let me name the oil for food case. In June 07, Transparency International German chapter has brought forward a complaint against 57 German companies over the oil for food scandal in Iraq. TI accuses the companies of violating the OECD guidelines that set social, environmental, and anti-corruption standards for multinational enterprises. The complaint has been lodged with the German Federal Ministry of Economics and Technology and asks the German government to take action under the OECD guidelines. The complaint makes specific recommendations that companies improve the management of their corruption prevention systems based on the OECD regulation in a process overseen by the Ministry of Economics and Technology. <clears throat> this is to be seen as a supplementary action to enhance the recommendation above uh, addressing the lack of inclusion of foreign subsidiaries in OECD anti bribery convention. In December 06, uh, several NGOs on the field of social, ecological, and development policies have made a joint advance towards the Bundestag and submitted their recommendation for enhancing the OECD guidelines for multinational enterprises. This action aims at enforcing corporate social responsibility in the age of globalization and strengthening the instrument of the national contact points. Furthermore, the implementation and monitoring process of the UN Convention Against Corruption, UNCAC, is another most important instrument to enhance non-corruptive practices. The UNCAC has 140 signatories and 95 ratifications or accessories. It has been ratified by Nigeria in December 2004. Germany has not yet ratified the convention because of an unclear legal issue concerning corruption on elected officials. Transparency International has submitted a report on follow-up process for the UN Convention Against Corruption in September 06, which stresses the meaning of the UNCAC and promotes coordination of follow-up and monitoring processes according to the several anti-corruption conventions. Last week, Transparency International German chapter has demanded the ratification from the German government. We are confidential that the obstacles will be overcome in a short time. Of course, there are other relevant con conventions, as for example the AU Convention. This has been signed by Nigeria, but not yet ratified. So, what are the conclusions for today? Fair and you 
international business conditions are not grounding themselves. There has to be an open-eyed, there has to be an open-eyed and publicly aware coalition to set standards. There is not a lack in rules and regulations. Economic and public actors must demand and practice strict compliance. Nigeria is on its way. As the Neue Zürcher Zeitung um, on 21st of June 07 reported, there has been there have been um, a lot of um, there have been a lot of uh, um, actions taken against uh, corrupted uh, officers and um, uh, uh, expression for the zero um, zero um, tolerance policy. Yes. International that there should be more uh, protection for whistleblowers uh, now because this is one of the most important um, factor uh, in um, uh, fighting a bribery. Uh, Nigeria is on its way and as Peter Eigen, founder of Transparency International, stated at the Africa Festival in Würzburg in 06, I quote, to name a country where there is really a big progress, I should name Nigeria. You may agree, there is still a long way to go, and we all wish you the best to be successful on this way. Thanks for your